Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am here with Fishing Planet and we are at the Amazonian Maze and I thought I would go ahead about completing some of these monster missions. Even though the Halloween event is over, I had, when I was at uh, Kaji no Ri, I was able to go up so many levels that I was able to not only get to Marone River, but also to uh, the Amazonian Maze, almost to the Congo. So... Since I am here, I thought I might as well go ahead and get the next monster that you can get. And that is, I believe, a, there's a couple of them, I believe. I think there's some some type of cyber piranhas. <laughs> and then there's a uh, some kind of monster shark. But you have to get this uh, caiman swim bait to get the shark. So, since the Indians and the local tribes are asking for your help, protection from the fighter shark okay that's what it's called which has taken up a habit of attacking the caimans who have been revered as deities since ancient times hurry to the pond catch and release some caimans to get the caiman swim bait and earn the blessing of the local totem so we need to catch black caiman i think you usually have to snag those now, i think i've caught a few uh, by accident just playing the game so not sure where the best place to go get them would be, but maybe that'll show something on the map. Let's see what happens if we go in here. Let's see. We gotta go to probably to the boat dock. That's my guess. Alright, we still have not caught a trophy bull shark. We did manage in the last couple of months to pull out a really large bull shark but not a trophy I believe let me make sure of that though I could be wrong honestly because I think it may be one nope just a regular bull shark he was 245 pounds but I got him with the gutted fish which I did bring with me let me see here. Let's just pull up the map. And I don't know exactly where the best spot to catch the caiman would be. There's a number of places that we could fish for them. Sit at the pond. I don't think we're going to find him here. May have to go there by boat. Maybe they can jump to the location. I'm not sure. This actually looks like it might be a good spot either here or around here. So let's take a look here. Let's pull up the main map. Yeah, let's try here. This is the Akanga. It's in a tributary, so that should be actually a good spot to try. They're not going to be in the salt water. Just put the crankbait on here. That's too light. Let's see, something a little bigger. 
There we go. Yeah, we need to get some kind of a snag, I think. I don't know. I'm not sure this is the best spot. Oh, this is cool. It's like a little... Yeah, this must be the totem they were talking about. Where would these guys be? Yeah, guys, I did do some checking. Apparently, we do have to get somewhere where there's some big lily pads and we're gonna need the boat to get to it honestly I don't think there's any spots where big lily pads are present we were actually in the right location but without a boat we can't get to the proper location of that part of the map so we're gonna have to get there a boat and get the boat started Not real big of a fan of this size of a boat for this area, but mainly because it's just so bulky. But it has bottom rod holders, so <laughs> I can fish more than at least three poles out on a boat. So I'd love to be able to use our. Inflatable boat, because that gets around this kind of place much easier, but yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a trip, from what I understand. Alright guys, they didn't call it the Amazonian Maze, or, <laughs> to be silly, it really is a maze. But there's the island we were earlier. Like I said, there is no way to get here, except by boat. Get over here you can you'll start to see them there there's some over there too but there's all kinds of those very big huge lily pads these aren't like the lily pads you see in the states these are crazy lily pads <laughs> they look like you could stand on them okay let's see this looks like this would be a good place to try to snag something all right and that's what you got to do you actually got to snag them off these lily pads. Now I've been fishing in these areas before and seen the caiman swimming off in the distance. I'm hoping maybe a crankbait will work. You can try a crankbait, a swim bait. We gotta get a snag. We'll probably get plenty of snags, but it may not be the snags we're looking for. Sometimes you don't get snags when you really want one. We might actually get some fish while we're doing this too, so you never know. Can't remember what all goes for crankbait. Seems like when I've used crankbait, they're most likely to snag onto things. I'm going to do it a little bit faster, so... Now let's try to snag. Let's try over here. We're just going to keep casting different spots. I don't think this is going to come as easy as it did to get that tangled wire we did in that last mission. This is what I usually use. Oh, 
all the snagging missions. So far I've gotten a single solitary snag. There we go. Okay, we got something here. And it is... Victoria Amazonica. <coughs> Not what we were hoping for. Well, there we go. We got one. Awesome. There's the little guy. <laughs> He's cute. <laughs> we gotta get five of these little guys, but I... Like a little alligator. Yeah, he's a cute little bugger. We just have to catch him, I think. Or do we have to catch him and keep him? No, we just have to catch him. Yeah, actually, it wasn't in the lily pad that I snagged him. He was actually right off close to the shore here. Right as it just about turns red. Now, if I get another one that fast... Because I was trying for quite a while. Nope, there's another one of those damn things. Yeah, I didn't mean to keep it, actually. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll probably still get some of those, but... At least we got our first one. I want to see if I can get another one fairly easily or not. Alright, guys, I did manage to get to a location where they are even more readily found... Super Dave on his channel, he had a good spot. Thought I'd come over here and try it. Actually, passed there. <laughs> Going to the other spot, I passed this one. I wish I'd thought about it, but I thought they'd be more in the uh, lily pads than in the reeds. But that's where it would be found. <laughs> they're actually in the reeds more. Apparently, there must have been some reeds over there, but you gotta throw it over here. Apparently, there's a spot, some spots over here where, as you can see, you can still cast it even though there's all kinds of weeds. I just threw it right there, second cast. And as soon as it hits, it starts getting snags. Now, I may still get something like this Amazon sedge, but. It was almost instant the first time. Yeah, see, you get a snag almost every time, which is what we're wanting. I think it's going to take a few tries, but try to get as back as far as we can. There we go. Yeah, still gonna get some of the plant life here. Yeah, you're either gonna get that stuff, Amazonian sedge. I got backlash a little while ago. Ah, finally. There's our third one. I love his little little legs 
swinging. <laughs> That time is right there. See where the, uh, those vines are hanging down? That's where I threw it. I think that's about where I got this first one I got here, too. That's not going to get me anything this time. Let's try it again. There we go, number four. Yeah, you're going to catch a lot of other garbage, guys. You're going to get the Amazonian Sedge. You might get Backlash. But eventually, if you're patient enough, which I'm not always patient enough, to be honest, you will get the little guys. But you just kind of got to throw it right in this area and keep at it. Sometimes you don't even get a snag. That's what I'm getting more of than anything else. Well, it seems to be pretty random for the most part. But I was, I'm definitely getting a lot more of them here than I was at that other location. I had seen that in the past. I knew it was near that little island. I just assumed that's where they would be. Because I believe I did see some caiman over there. There was another spot that I was going to check if this one didn't work. But it's one more. Ah, we finally got him, guys. There's the last one. So we got to go back to the island where I was before. At least that's the way I understand it. So get the blessing of the local totem, the Akanka location. So that's right here, like I said. And... Put this away. And we got our blessing. So we got the Amazonian Maze came in swim bait. Alright, we can claim that. So now we go on to the next mission. But it is Fighter Shark Monster Mission. So we definitely gotta go back to the boat this time. I don't know that they're going to point out any good locations, or I'm just going to have to catch him based on my own intuition. But I think that's what I'm going to have to end up doing here. Since usually these guys are caught at night, I don't want that map. I want the other map. Let's see here. Yeah, we're going to have to go all the way here. Get back on the boat. Head out to the ocean side. Now sometimes the monster... Sometimes the uh, monsters from the monster missions kind of make their own appearance. You kind of find out where they are just by them growling or jumping or whatever. Alright guys, we are almost back to that location. I've still got the markers there. Just so you know, I'm going to go ahead and tell you where that other location was because I completely forgot. Sorry about that. But if you get out here, I'll go ahead and pull out the map. But that came in location, you got to look for this curvy area here. But I've all, I don't have a... There's really not an exact coordinate, but it is right about here. Where I got that trophy tree here. 
negative 86.14, negative 88.63. We were just a little bit to the north of that. And I was casting right in this direction. So that's where I got the Caymans. The other spot that I was getting just wasn't as good. I got one, so that was that wasn't too bad, but it was over right over in this area here. Actually near these marks. There's all kinds of lily pads here. Like I said, I only got one, so maybe get maybe you can try there. You might be able to find a better spot. Maybe I was throwing the wrong direction. I'm not sure, but Super Dave I found the other one, so I'm good with his spot, so we're going to go ahead and take this to night time, just in case this guy decides to come out. Let's go ahead and equip that lure. Let's see what this here. I think it would be in this one. Yeah, here it is. Cayman swim bait. Let's see, we've got, yeah, we've got everything should be good. We only have the one, so if we lose this, I don't know if we can get it back. <laughs> we just have it. But this is where they should be. They're going to be anywhere. Yeah, I do have another bull shark spot from about a year ago. We could try that, too, if it comes down to it, but... Alright guys, I am back. Yeah, the spot I was at before was up here. I didn't have any luck, which kind of surprised me since I've caught so many bull sharks here. But I've also caught them right here too, and this is a place that Super Dave also had said he got his. So, it might be worthwhile to try it. I believe that's what I've got. Yeah, I've got a young bull shark marker there. It seemed to do well at night, so... We're about to approach the peak here, so hopefully that's when they're going to bite. That's where I caught him last time. Of course, I caught it with shiners, I believe. But... Usually with the swim bait, the stop and go is the best presentation I've run into. Like I said, I think usually... You want to catch the monsters at night. Now, if this was a normal situation, I'd probably go for them during the late evening peak. If there's a late evening peak, that'd be the best time. But this is where he said he got them, and this is where I've gotten them in the past, so... I might position my boat a little bit more. Alright guys, I am back. I have been not catching this guy. I have... But, I did notice... I did hear from Super, Super Dave that is, you can catch multiple fighter sharks if you use gutted fish and bottom rods at the same time. So they're definitely here. As you can see, I've got one. I just don't know if... Whoa. Okay. Can't do that. I'm just going to have to fight him. I don't think this is going to count as the monster. I think you do have to catch it with that Cayman bait. We could get multiple fighters, which would be so cool. Let's see if that works. Works great. It may take us a while to get the other one, but this guy is going to take a while to get in because I had to really take the tension down off of this. Yeah, nothing's ever easy, is it? <laughs> Several moments later. 
thinking my mouse might be about to die. I think we got him. No, it's just a regular bull shark. Not our fighter shark. Like I was hoping, but yeah, the mouse is... My mouse is dying. That's what was going on. Well, that's not a total loss. I mean, we definitely got a decent fish. All right. Now it's working. There we go. Everything's back to normal. Yeah, that was kind of weird. All right, let's try to get this thing positioned back where it was. Yeah, I had to do something. I was, I'm, like I said, I couldn't go up and down. I couldn't fight him right. Yeah, I have one of those Bluetooth <laughs> mice. When it starts to run out of power, it acts real squirrely. Yeah, I threw this out here. It did take me long to get a bull shark. But not a second fighter shark. According to what this these guys have said, you can catch multiple fighter sharks. I don't think it counts towards the mission. But you can get fighter sharks, which can count where it's your cash. <laughs> Should be nice. Let's try this again. Let's see if we can't get something else here. Damn. They're really going for that gutted fish. That gutted fish is just... Just... They just love it. Now that we got the mouse working, we have a little more control of things. Oh, wow, we got one on the other one, too. If I could have been able to use a... those fluorocarbons, if you could probably bite through, I, the test would get... The flying test would allow me to get him. He's going to have to get... Plenty more tired than that. Several boring minutes later. Come on. Can I use a landing net for this position? What difference is it? Got him. Young bull shark. I guess you can't get the multiple fighter sharks. I thought maybe you still could. They must have got wind of that. We're definitely getting them, though. Just not getting the buggers to bite off of this. Maybe it needs to go lower. I don't know. Okay, we got something. But I don't think it's what we're after. What did we get? 
Oh my gosh. How nice is that? A unique Orin Orinoco peacock bass. And I bet that's a rare catch, too. Holy crap. That's nice. That is seriously nice. Let me take a look at this fella. Caught him with caiman bait. Really? Very nice. I don't think that was an easy catch. Well, guys, I'll tell you what. I think we're going to end up having to continue on with this. We will get him. We're just going to keep at it. Might come back on a better day with a better peak. We're not doing too bad, but the... It seems like we've got the same... It's all... Every day has been a cloud is a cloudy day. This peak could probably be better, or doing it at night. Yeah, right here is probably going to be better. So it might behoove us just to lay low for a little bit and come back and try it then. But I cannot believe I got that Orinoco peacock bass off, off the Cayman bait of all things. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We will be back with the part two of the monster mission. So until then, guys, as always, say aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.